Hi, Nadia is here with uh, another servant tutorial. This tutorial is a little on advanced level, but it's not hard to do it. And what is more important, it is very exciting and practical project. You will learn how to make a plain, simple looking window drapery panels look absolutely gorgeous. And the best part is that this uh, could be done with uh, any panels, even ordinary looking panels uh, that you can buy in department stores like uh, Walmart and others, and convert them into custom made great looking panels. We are going to add the side bands and they will give your panels that pop up effect. <laughs> And uh, before we start, I want to give you a little tip. You can choose fabric for bands that will match some things in your interior, like a uh, furniture, art pictures, or something else. And that will bring your interior together. Your interior will get the custom design touch. So exciting! Let's begin! To start, I lay and smooth out fabric side straight on the table. By the way, I'm making new panel with the side bands from the beginning. But if you want to add side band to your existing panels, the process of adding band is uh, basically the same. I'm laying band fabric face down, so it will be face to face with the panel. Here I already have cut piece of fabric for band. My band will be 3 inches wide. So I cut a strip of fabric 7.5 inches wide. 3 inches for band, plus 3 inches for side hemming, plus half inch for seam allowance. Align edges of band fabric with a panel fabric and fix them. Pin them together. Now I will make seam half inch of the edge of fabric. It is very important to make seam as straight as possible all the way. Now it's time to make hem on the bottom of the panel. I lay panels on the table face down and fold up 8 inches of bottom of panel and pin it. Measure 8 inches on the other side of panel and make sure this fold is even all the way. Iron bottom of the panel making nice crease. Now will fold it in half and turn inside the bottom hem. Align secure it with the pins. <coughs> and iron it one more time. <coughs> I'm checking with my fingers to make sure that folder fabric is all the way inside to their bottom crease of panel. This way you have nice double fold 4 inches bottom hem. And make blind stitch seam 
that could be done on the blind stitch machine or household sewing machine. If your machine does not have blind stitch, you can make this stitch by hand to secure and uh, prevent hem from unfolding. Again, I will place panel on the table and straighten it out all the way nice and smooth. Now iron this seam, make it nice and flat. My band will be 3 inches wide. For that I will turn band in under panel and measure 3 inches. Secure this side with the clamps and do the same with the other side. It is easy to make this band 3 inches all the way. Measure and iron. Measure 3 inches and iron. Measure and iron. It is not hard to do. It already looks beautiful. 3 inches even all the way. Nice and smooth. When panel will be handed on the road, the seam will look professional without gathering, waving and wrinkles. That is what I want. Next, I will place panel face down and it's time to add lining. I already prepared lining and here is, is 3 inches bottom double hem. I made hem the same way as on the panel face fabric. The only difference is the lining hem is 3 inches compared to 4 inches on the face fabric. I'm placing lining face up and uh, one inch up from the bottom of panel face fabric. As you probably know, this is kind of a standard way for making drapery panels with the lining. Make it all the way even one inch and pin lining to the face fabric. Very easy. Next step for our panel is uh, to do side hem. Now this is probably the most delicate step that requires uh, careful attention. Again, I'm straightening out fabric and lining even and smooth all the way. Face fabric edge and lining edge need to be combined even. On the face fabric I have already this line, this crease that I pressed with the iron before. And now I can see this line very clearly. And that is great, makes my job easier. Now all I have to do, just fold fabric and lining together and follow that line. I need to make even edges of fabric and lining and fold them together and touch it with this finger. With this finger? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I want to make sure that lining goes in all the way and press it again. Now just fold double fabric and lining inside the hem and iron them. Secure hem with the pins. I do it approximately 12 inches apart, maybe 15. It uh, depends on fabric. And make blind stitch seam. Same hem is finished on the blind stitch machine and now it's time to add metal weight to each bottom corner of panel. Placing weight inside bottom hem between fabrics and secure it in place is just one stitch. And finish the bottom side hem by hand. Just so simple stitch and hem will be done. And 
And we have beautiful looking, nice, straight band. At this point, our side band is finished. And the only thing left to do is to finish panel to the needed lengths. The panel I'm making will have a pinch pleated top. But it doesn't really matter what kind of panel top you gonna make. Pinch pleated, road pocket, goblet pleats, ripple folds or something else. The side band is always done the same way. The topic of this uh, tutorial is how to make beautiful side band on drapery panels. If you would like to learn how to make different panel tops, then click notification bell, because in the near future I will make this tutorial, so you will be notified as soon as I will post them. I hope you found my tutorial helpful. And uh, if you have any questions, please let me know. I will gladly answer any of your questions about panels with uh, side bands. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that notification bell to know us up when I will post new videos. And if you like this video, click thumb up so I will know that you found it uh, helpful. This video was recorded till length of panel, background, pleats and uh, everything else was finished. It will play till the end, so keep watching if you like uh, to see how it's done. Good luck with your project! Happy sewing! At this point I will leave you alone. See you in the next video! Bye now!